These are the different parts that we are going to discuss. The pre-Spanish era, the Spanish, First Republic, American period, Commonwealth, Japanese, Third Republic, the New Society, and the post-EDSA part of our Philippine education. Okay, so without further ado, let's go check the pre-Spanish era. Okay, now, according to our history, history in Philippine education, during the pre-Spanish era, education was very informal, okay? They didn't have any structure, structures yet. There was really no school yet, no sections, no um, curriculum of any type, okay? So education was very informal by then. Those that would be teaching kids are the tribal tutors, okay? So they only have tutors in their tribes. Now, what else? Their main focus was survival. So during this time, their existence was only based on the hand-to-mouth existence. Okay, so the main focus would be for survival. And um, their method of learning would be by show and tell, by imitation. So again, very informal form of education. It's only taught by the tribal tutors and their focus was by survival. So they were taught how to catch fish, how to kill boars, for example, how to plant, okay? So very informal form of education that was during the pre-Spanish era. Now, when the Spanish came, our religion became very, really, uh, our, our education, I mean, became very religious. So the focus shifted to religious education. It was to promote Christianity, of course, and the method of teaching was by dictation and memorization. Now, remember that the Spanish did not really want us to learn their language, okay? They, they were the ones who were learning Tagalog, okay? They didn't really want the Indios. They called the, the Filipinos back then the Indios. They didn't really want the Indios to learn Spanish because they were scared that the Indios would be able to understand them when they're talking. Okay, so basically what they use was um, Tagalog and some people would also use Spanish from time to time. Okay, so the religion, uh, education shifted to religion and the main focus was to promote Christianity. Two methods of teaching the kids were dictation and memorization. Now, during the First Republic, during the time of Emilio Aguinaldo, the love of country and the love of God were given emphasis uh, education became less religious, so the focus was now less on religion because, of course, the Spanish people were gone. Um, it lacked pedagogy, so there was really no technique yet, no strategies, no curriculum of some sort. But there was already a system of free and compulsory elementary education, which was established by the Malolos Constitution. Okay, so we will be talking more of this in our next focus, okay, the, the last focus that we have. All right, so that's according to the First Republic under General Emilio Aguinaldo, okay, the first uh, president of the Republic, the First Republic of the Philippines.